What did you two know about each other prior to starting this journey? Nothing. I didn't know anything about him. No, I would say nothing. I mean, I knew the show, but honestly, being that his last name is in Vanderpump, I didn't put two and two together until he told me, and, and I really didn't know much about anyone in the show. I mean, JoJo, I, I'd seen her when she was little with her big big bows, but that was really it. It was, it was kind of a first time for everything. So the first time you heard about the whole Scandal thing was through him telling you? Yeah, yeah, and I, and I told him. I said, dude, here, nobody gives a so let's, let's, not, let's, not li let's not live in that space. Get your head in the right place and let's power forward. And it was, uh, I think that was, was good for all of us. I mean, honestly, like I hadn't been without my phone for a week, not even touching it of any sort, you know, in I don't know how many years. So that yeah. was, that, I think that was a really important and, and cool overlooked part of this was just being completely immersed in what you were doing at that time with no other shit attached. Yeah, you fully were, you were fully fully uh encompassed in this in this thing like you, you just you didn't have time to think about anything else really i mean very very little time but um the car rides the car rides <laughs> yeah but besides that you know you were just thinking about what's coming next what are they going to do what's the next mm -hmm. challenge like and any like tasks they gave you everybody was just very diligent and just like making sure that they had it done right why did you want to do this i wanted to do this because i, I you know I, I wanted to test myself. I wanted to push myself. I felt like it would be a nice, healthy distraction from all the chaos and shit that was going on in my life. Um, I wanted to get away. Um, leaving the country sounded so appealing. Um, and I thought that keeping myself busy, because like I previously had been on tour, um, that really helped me. Um, just being busy, having other people have to rely on me. You know, it, it really it really straightens out your priorities and gets you out of your head. Yeah. I mean, in the midst of all the personal controversy and chaos that you've experienced, how you doing? Um, I'm doing a lot better. Um, I feel like I'm at the, you know, I've gotten through the worst. I definitely went through some very, very dark times. Uh, but, um, again, like I was saying before, uh, earlier, that, you know, being around uh, other people that have gone through their own hardships and having them tell their stories and, and what they've learned and what what they've gotten out of it like it, it's very inspiring and it, it really puts things in perspective i mean that was something that i really didn't expect to to get out of this i thought it was going to be more of just personal like working together physically hard mentally hard yes but like that was something that was really you know really uh glad to get out of this that i didn't see coming what do you say to folks out there that may still be upset with you or mad at you? How do you respond to them? Um, you know, I, I understand. I mean, I screwed up and, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to do better, be better and, and uh, take my life one day at a time, you know? Yeah. I know one of the reasons why you wanted to go on the show is because you wanted to seek some clarity. Why was that so important to you? Yeah, I think, you know, as a father, now husband, I mean, I'm committed to my life as it is and looking to try to do those roles as best I can with no template and not really anybody to, I mean, I, I talk to friends and I'm, I'm pretty open about everything, but the fact is nobody knows, right? There's no, there's no magic solution to it. So I think anytime you can push yourself the way that we were pushed down there, ultimately it reveals things, whether they're just in your head or or external, um, that's good. It's, it represents growth, and there's not that many chances to do that in in real life. You know, I mean, people try in various ways, and this just a, it appealed to me in that sense because I've grown a lot through my training and through stuff I did as an athlete. Now, being retired and just a dad, I feel a little bit like a barnacle. You know, like my kids just I, I'm a facilitator for my kids' lives, and this was a chance to kind of get myself right in the. And suffer a bit and see see if I could. Um, did you find it? Did you find that clarity you were looking for? I definitely it was surprising in a couple a couple areas. And the guys are fucking awesome. I mean, our DS was they were great. I mean, I only had one meeting with them, and it shocked me the revelation that came out just from their kind of simple posturing and, and the way they are. They're just honest, straightforward dudes, and they they care. And yeah, it, it helps. I mean, it definitely was. You know, I didn't go into it thinking I knew what I was going to get out of it, and even with that pretext, I was surprised at what kind of came out of it, where I was. We have a new season of Vanderpump Rules coming. What can you tell us? Uh, I can tell you that it's going to be a very different season from others that 
you know, I've been in the past the previous 10. Um, for me personally, it was a very hard season. Um, I was felt very isolated. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely not used to being uh, so much uh, on the outskirts, um, and it, it was it was tough. It was really tough at times. It was also really tough for fellow castmates. I mean, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, they like even say hi to me. It's like they get lit up on social media, you know, which I feel really bad about. Um, you know, I just, I wish, I hope people can just take a second and take a breath and just realize that, you know, we're not just characters on a TV show, like, we're real people, you know, obviously I made a mistake, um, trying to do the best I can, we all are, we all make mistakes, um, but yeah, we are, we are just people, yeah, you know. Yeah. How are you and Raquel doing today? Um, uh, I think she's doing great, she's in Arizona right now, uh, today's her birthday, so... Wish her happy birthday. I saw you wish her happy birthday, said you guys were friends, and then she blocked you. Yeah. <laughs> How do you respond to that? I, I think it's a little thirsty and immature, personally, but, um, you know, she's, she is who she is. I, I still wish the best for her, and uh, um, I hope she's doing good, and I hope she finds her happiness. You also had a picture of her, though, before today with you on this experience. Yeah. Why was that so important for you to do? Well, I mean, at that time, like, very, very close, you know, and... We, you know, during this during this whole scandal, like, you know, we didn't have a lot of people, and we had each other, and um, and so, you know, she was very much a source of strength. I felt like we both were for each other. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to. Also, you know, it's kind of like I don't know if you ever seen the movie Collateral with, uh, yeah, Tom Cruise and and Jamie, Jamie Fox, like pulls down the visor and look, takes a look at like uh, the, the beach, the, uh, the island, take a little vacation. I was like, I would sometimes look at it and just take a quick vacation mm -hmm. for yeah. a few seconds. Yeah. Ariana's going on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Will you be voting? Will you be watching? I, I will, and I will be voting for her. Um, I think she's going to do really well. She's got a lot of natural ability when it comes to dancing. She's been wanting to be on the show for a long time, and I'm super stoked for her. I, I hope she does really well. I think she will. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about yourself from this experience? Um, I don't know. I mean, it, those are those are tricky because knees never age. Yes. Yeah, so sometimes, <laughs> so sometimes you you know you don't figure it out till much later. Um, I think that I, I I was surprised that I still had that kind of that grit because I like I said I don't push myself now. I don't I'm not really in any kind of spectacular shape relative to what I had been. Um, but but yeah, when it came down to it, I, I was. I was pretty pretty gritty in the show. I mean, he was. I, I didn't. Brody's got grit, dude. There wasn't a lot of not a lot of quit in there, and I think that's that was fun to feel because, right, as you get older, you just kind of feel like it drifts away because you don't use it often, and so to, to find that again was fun, and it was fun to to push the other guys, you know, and, and to be pushed. I mean, it, we we all did it for each other, so it was it was fun to have that kind of like it was competitive, but not against each other. It was like competitive support, like we were all rooting for each other because there's no reason not to and we all got pretty close i think just because we're so suffering together um but yeah it was fun to to be pushed that way again finally for you after the scandal folks have thoughts and opinions about you today though that's behind you what's your intent moving forward uh my intent moving forward is uh you know to just continue to work on myself i know it sounds cliche but to really put in the actual effort and do the things, take action, and continue to do, do, uh, do better, and um, you know, take it, take it a day at a time, and just try to learn from my mistakes. You know, and folks out there that are watching that may think they know you because of that experience. Well, I mean, look, on our show, you get five minutes of five hours. You know, there's a whole lot going on there that doesn't get shown. And they can't show everything, so you know, we there is a lot. But, people don't see but you know I get and totally understand why they would feel and think of me the way that they do you know especially from what they're they're shown so um, do you think this show will change their opinion because I do I mean I don't know you from from before but I know that this was a different a different bit I mean I do you so, feel yeah. so I, I I think so I hope so mm -hmm. yeah all I can do you know all I can do is be myself and you know they say when you're truly yourself there's no way you can be second best yeah. so I, I only know you from the show I think you're a good dude so. I know you say too you're not drinking anymore um, not currently no taking a little break I don't like to deal in absolutes so yeah <laughs> for the time being yeah, yeah. I'm